5 New and Natural Ways to Reduce Arthritis Pain Part 2 Hey! Fancy an ongoing collection of news, reports, resources, and courses for arthritis treatment. Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon, so you'll never miss out again. Okay guys, let's begin. Today we discuss Arnica. While homeopathy still has some ground to gain in relation to the overall medical field, Arnica seems to be one of the most respected treatments in relation to arthritis and muscle pain. Whether applied topically or taken orally, this European flower helps to ease the suffering of afflicted patients. Homeopathy is the practice of using very small amounts of herbs, flowers, and other ingredients in order to stimulate the body's own healing response. It can be likened to the idea of a vaccine in which the dead virus or bacteria is injected into the body. In order to persuade the body to make the appropriate white blood cells in order to prevent the disease. With Arnica, this flower is a part of the sunflower family, and the hairy leaves are what has given it its name, derived from the Greek for lamb or arna. There are several types of Arnica, but the most commonly used type is Arnica montana. Within this compound is the chemical helenalin, which is actually toxic when taken in larger amounts. However, when used in very small measurements, it helps to reduce the inflammation of joints, while also helping to prevent and to heal bruising of the skin. It is thought too that the roots of the arnica plant contain thymol, which helps to also prevent fungal infections, which might have something to do with preventing the inflammatory reaction. Again, science is still studying how this homeopathic process works. The main finding of the usefulness of arnica is that it seems to help stimulate the transportation of blood from one part of the body to the affected and afflicted body part. This helps to take away any accumulation of fluids in the joints and skin, which allows the body to be free of pain, while also helping to stimulate the natural healing process. By helping the blood capillaries dilate, the body's blood transport system is much more efficient and a patient can move their joints more easily and without aches and pains. The actual ingestion of arnica is not recommended, unless it has been prepared by a reputable homeopathic company or practitioner. Those who ingest arnica can have severe stomach upset and even internal bleeding as a result. Arnica is easy to find in most drugstores, and is found as an ointment that is applied directly to the skin in order to promote the alleviation of pain and swelling. You can apply this ointment to the skin as often as you like, taking care to wash your hands before moving on to your next task. You will also want to make sure the skin is clean before applying and that there are no open sores or cracks in the skin that might become irritated by this therapy. If you choose to use arnica orally, you can find it in small pellets of which you take three under the tongue up to six times per day, or as recommended by the manufacturer or the homeopathic practitioner. While Arnica does not seem to interact with any other medications or prescriptions, it is recommended that you alert your doctor when you begin an Arnica regimen of any kind. Overall, Arnica is seen to be safe and effective, while also being a gentle way to help your body heal itself as a complementary practice to traditional medicine. That's all for this episode, folks. Thanks a million for watching and have a great day. But, before you go, just a quick question, do you also suffer from arthritis? If so, please share your story in the comments below. And just a last reminder to subscribe, then hit the bell icon. Keep well, take care, and see you soon.